Okay, is it on? <laughs> Let's go! Hey guys, it's me, Inspired Joe Min, and today I will be doing 25 facts about me. Yep, me, Joe Min. Yeah. Today on my 25 facts, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about myself and hopefully you guys enjoy it and get some entertainment out of it because I can go to 50. That's too much. I, it was already hard enough to think of 25 because I don't really think about myself that much. I just think about what I do. So, the first fact about me is my name is Joe Min, but my birth name is Jordan because my parents liked basketball when I was growing up. They're very into sports. My mom definitely watches football. She definitely watches basketball. But that's the only two sports I've actually seen her watch. But I haven't seen him watch many sports, but he's more of a movie man. But he w does watch basketball, and that's why they named me Jordan. So, I mean, I do like that name, but I prefer Joe Min because that's more of myself and because it was a nickname my friends gave me. Long story. Everyone keeps asking me why they call me Joe Min, but that's just the nickname I have. And I like it. Just like my other nickname is Ramen. Because everyone knew the college I went to, I would always eat ramen. <laughs> Another fact about me is my birthday is August 11, and so that means I am a Leo. That's the third fact about myself. I'm a Leo in the Western Zodiac, and in the Chinese Zodiac, I am a monkey. And no, I don't throw poo at people, if that's what you're wondering. Out of the siblings I have, I am the third born, so out of four of us, I am the third born, so... I am also another middle child, so I understand the feeling of being an oldest and a youngest at the same time. For all you people out there, they're like, no one understands. I, I understand how it feels to be responsible as an older sibling because I have a younger brother, and how to be a younger sibling and like so pressured because I have two older siblings. So I understand. I was born in California, and that's I think that's the fifth fact about. Another fact about me, and the fifth fact, I was born in California, Los Angeles, and um, I lived in Palm, like I was born in Palmdale, LA, and after I was born, my parents moved to New York, because my mom wanted to go back to New York, because that's where both my parents are from. So I was born in California, raised a little bit in New York, and then moved down here all over the freaking place, so I have a little bit of everything in The things I fear are spiders the darkness, and water. If it's not in a cup, and if it's not in the shower, I don't want to be in it. Don't get me wrong, I do like oceans and, and like looking at pools, but I have a fear of drowning because one time when I was a kid, I got pushed into a pool when I was visiting California when I was eight years old by this random girl I didn't even know, but she was trying to make me swim and she pushed me, and nobody noticed though, so it was like ironically surprising. But. That's why I'm scared of water because I can't swim. I'm scared of spiders because they're freaky looking and they're disgusting. I don't like them. As long as they get in their corner and I get in mine, we don't got a problem. I don't like the dark. Bad caves are cool, but not for me. Just, just My favorite food, oh my gosh, growing up, whenever I had to write it down, I put chicken and rice. Chicken and white rice <laughs> just all the time. <laughs> because my dad would make chicken so much growing up. Like he'd make fried chicken, baked chicken, well he didn't make baked chicken that much. But he made a bunch of fried chicken, pork chops, um, oxtails because of my mom. My dad's side of the family is mostly Jamaican and Haitian. And they make a lot of Jamaican food and that's how he got it transferred over it to like black American food. Um, my least favorite food are, I don't like asparagus that much, they're okay. I don't like intestines, I don't like, I, I can't eat beef that much. Even though I like it, I just can't eat it because it's not... I, my body can't digest it at all. Like, it, even if I wanted to, it just it doesn't. My hobbies besides YouTubing would probably be sewing, singing, trying to learn Korean because I, I like learning things. That's why I like going to school. Trying, and I really want to do is play tennis because I like tennis. And I did table tennis in elementary and I was really good at it. 5'7", so that's my height. I am 5'7", so yes, I am that tall. So. Let's just how tall I am. The school I did go to was Art Institute, and 
I am trying to, and I was a media arts major, like I changed twice. So I started off with fashion design. Um, I went from fashion, <laughs> fashion major to media arts major. <laughs> and it's because I've been drawing since I was seven. I mean, I'll admit, out of all the skills and stuff I like, I like drawing the most because I started when I was seven years old and I went all the way up. For music, I like a lot of different music. I, I'll just tell you which ones I say, and I'm not just saying that just to be saying like, oh, I like a lot of music. I'll give you a topic. I like Korean indie music. I like alternative music because I grew up with it as a child. I like rock music. I like J-pop, uh, J-rock music. I like Korean music, I like K-pop music. I don't like Korean rock that much. It's all right. I don't really like it. Kind of like Michael Bublé's music and John Park and I like Michelle Brand. <laughs> Why can I not think of these bands right now? I feel so on the spot. Like, but oh, my camera's dying now. I'm really good at drawing and I like making food on the spot. So if I have some ingredients, I know how to make something out of it rather than nothing. Funny. <laughs> comedy shows or like for example or action shows because I don't watch romantic shows that much like it has to be a romantic comedy or just action or action adventure or some kind of like action flick my long-term goal is to move to California another one is to find my soulmate slash romantic partner for life I guess if you say I'm just kind of like a hopeless romantic but not too much to an extreme I hope to become a comic book artist someday even if I'm not famous like that was one of my childhood dreams besides being a samurai or a singer, like, those were smaller dreams. Embarrassing moment I had, okay, so growing up I've had a huge bottom, which is my butt. And I, I don't have any boobs if you can tell, I don't have anything else but a, a bigger bottom. So growing up there was a football game, um, so one day I was talking to my friend and this guy was like, hey, can I touch your butt? And I was like, okay! And, and the way I said it, I was not accepting him to touch my butt. I was like, okay, you're weird. And I thought that was very clear. I turned around to talk to my friend and kept talking. He walked away and I was like, oh, okay. But then I noticed he walked away from a distance and then just came charging up. I was like, da -da 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 -da. and he went for a handful. He's like, slap. And I was like, ah. And my friends were like, ah. And it, it was really awkward because then my crush at that time, my high school crush, it always happens when my high school crush is around. I, I'm so mad about this. Like, at the second time, he was across the room and he saw it. Right at the time, I don't want him to see it. He saw it. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Why? My butt was hurting for a straight hour. I couldn't sit. It just hurt so bad. Um, it was kind of hard for me because my parents were fighting a lot and they divorced when I was in seventh grade. So I spent most of my time either inside my room drawing playing with my own like toys or something I'd always be in my room all the time like to the point to where even growing up I just stayed in my room because that was what I was used to favorite colors are mint green that's the definite number one I like white pink sometimes I'm not really that much of a pink fan like pink maybe um, I like light brown so light brown mixed with white or just light brown I like if you get those right, then you're, ha you're making me happy. The places I wanted to travel to growing up and right now, because I remember we had a globe in my mom's house, and I was like, oh, I want to sleep here, live here, live here, live here. I wanted to go to England. I wanted to go to France because my last name is French due to my dad's side of the family. I wanted to go to China. I wanted to go to South Korea. I wanted to go to definitely Japan. That was, that's been a thing for me ever since I discovered anime, so that that's just the normal otaku thing. So you just got style. If you haven't noticed, it's very like anime-ish girl slash like cutesy or just very comfy style. Those kind of three generic. It's very rare to see me wear dark colors unless I'm really pissed or if I, I have to wear it. So if you really want to know something about me, I talk in my sleep. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up I'm like, what the fudge am I talking about? And I'll go back to sleep. Or somebody will hear me and they're like, what are you talking about? Oh, my favorite holidays are Christmas and Easter. Like, I have a big Easter bunny because someone gave me an Easter bunny. Because I love the pastel colors. I like the happiness. Everyone's actually happy around those times. And it's sad to say that, but it's true because those holidays make people remember things, be more grateful, and be happier. 
from what I've noticed, I'm not really that much of a fan of Valentine's Day. I'm okay with it. It's just, I don't think you should show love on that one day. You can show it every day. No, not much. I mean, I'm, I'm more of like anything's open kind of girl. I don't, I'm not, I'm not really too traditional. I mean, there are some traditions I like, but I like exploring and just being in the moment because you never know what kind of tradition. I used to go every Thanksgiving to my aunt's house and we would go always there and then sometimes we would always go New Year's because we couldn't make Christmas we would always go New Year's to my aunt's house and we would just spend New Year's there and, it, and we would always drink and then be happy and alright guys that is my 25 question facts about me spread peace love and happiness and don't forget it's only up to you to make everyday beautiful and I'll see you guys later bye, bye. I would always, I wanted to travel to why am I stuttering? Um, if that's if you can see it clearly, I don't freaking know. Ah! <laughs> Getting all nervous and shit. I don't know why. It's not the first time I've been in a YouTube video, so and okay, I'm just gonna continue. So I think my camera's dying. I don't know. Hey guys, it's me inspired you <laughs> that that. I'm getting sidetracked by everything around me. Like this hair. <laughs> I have to sit on two pillows because this isn't working. Here. Yay! Wait. <laughs> Can't do the video.